what's up guys and welcome to new tarot i am the energy and intuitive reader and i'm here to do the general readings for somebody so before i pull the charm i do want to say in my description box i have my social medias on there if you guys want to go check me out on that you can all right all right let's see last but not least is cancy's what's up cancy's thank you so much for being here this message can resonate with you if you have cancer as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. The energies might be reversed for you, cancer. We'll take it how it resonates and move the rest, okay? All right, cancer. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, four of Wands. Ooh. Let's get married. Mm, 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 mm. Some of them might want to get married with you or your marriage, something, your marriage or your foundation, your commitment is being emphasized right now. All right, Cancer. So I got to pull these for you instead of the guidance cards. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I just follow the rules. The magician. A lot of you guys could be manifesting marriage, a commitment, a love. Okay. Let's see. Answer. Answer. It's weird. I don't really do it like this. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in reverse, with the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Hermit in reverse, with the Wheel of Fortune. Can't see what you don't see coming. That there's someone who is going to. Someone who promised you a lot, who told you they were going to give you all of this stuff, right? You're going to find out that they're full of doo doo. And I feel like you're going to stop fighting for this or stop entertaining it. But I feel like you're going to be kind of mad. And they're kind of asking you to take some self-reflection here. Because with the Wheel of Fortune here, this was destined and meant to happen here, okay? It's not like, oh, you know, with the Hermit in reverse, it's like we're kind of refusing to look at a situation and kind of dissect it as to why it happened. And to kind of like ask ourselves why we allowed a certain energy to do certain things to us right and that's what's coming in for you what you don't see coming and i feel like the advice here is to take some self-reflection once you realize who this energy really is um and really ask yourself why you you know were the way you were why you believed them why you kept them around whatever um however that helps you it could be a virgo but it doesn't have to be the first card you have is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's something here that you're not nurturing anymore. You have the Eight of Swords in reverse. You are out of your head about something here. You have the Queen of Wands here. You're you're very you're looking very attractive here, can see People is liking you. There's also somebody here who um there's something here that you really want or that looks very good to you. Okay. You have the three of pentacles in reverse. There's an energy of some uh, people could be someone else but someone doesn't want to work with you like they they ain't trying to they ain't trying to work with it five of wands in reverse there's a very hectic drama filled energy here and it's like it's not changing it's always hectic it's always drama 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 five of wands in reverse to me is just ongoing drama always there's always something there's always something <clears throat> be physical for some of you to like physical fighting all right um what is this queen of pentacles in reverse oh yeah the nine of cups in reverse the lovers in reverse and ooh, the nine of swords in reverse okay so can sees whatever this is that you stop nurturing it actually got you out of your head here okay because you weren't content you weren't you know, you didn't feel like this. You felt like this all the time. And you not putting any energy or effort into this anymore, not nurturing this energy, it's like it actually relieves some stress for you. You can actually sleep now. You can actually relax a little bit. Um, but it doesn't feel good either because, yeah, with the judgment here, you had to make an important decision because you really cared about this here. And... Um, I feel like somebody was being sneaky too with their money, okay? Um, or with family and friends or family foundation here. They could have lied and said something about their family. 
uh, made more than they did or had more than they did. I don't know, but you felt very close to this energy at one point, okay? And it was hard for you to make this decision, but you did. So cahoots to you, okay? What is this Eight of Swords in reverse? The cherry. Look at this. This is you, Cancies. You getting out of your head. You feeling back to yourself here. You feeling back to normal. And things are definitely moving forward for you. The world in reverse, the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. There is there's something that I feel like things could be like not working out for you right now. Like some plans that you have set for yourself aren't working out so well. It's because you still have a cycle open with whatever this is that you haven't that you stopped nurturing. And I feel like they're gonna come and offer you something here. Okay, and that's why they off the door isn't closed here. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was like, should they take the offer? No, this person just is trying to, like, they, they're trying to come out of this guilt energy, okay? They feel bad for whatever it is that happened, and they just kind of, like, want to make, they might want to offer you a new beginning. They kind of, like, want to make amends just so that they feel good on their part. Like, okay, it wasn't my fault. Okay, I did what I did. You know, I'm still a good person, but the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's not, this new beginning is not going to work out. Okay, because their intention isn't to work things with you and make things better with you. It's to make themselves feel better. Okay, so, yeah. And they see you, they see you looking good. They see you doing good here. Like, you're back to your normal self. Okay, and that's when this person might come in and be like, okay, let me, Cancer's, Cancer's doing good. Let me, let me come back at this time right now. Where's the Queen of Wands? Three of Swords in reverse. A lot of you guys, this person, you're healing from this person. King of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the High Priestess here. I feel like you had to cut this thing out here, even though there was a lot of attraction here. Like, you've really, 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 really wanted this. Or you feel like this person is very, very, very good looking here. And they're very successful here. But the thing is that you do come up you do come up as the King of Swords with the Queen of Wands. It's like someone was, was more passionate and another person was more logical. And that's where it, like, it, like, it looks, right... It looks from the outside looking in like, yeah, this is a great couple. But if you really dissect it, the swords are all about mental and logic and the wands are all about passion and and uh, courage and sensualness. You know, it's like mm, it's it's hard to to mix here. OK, but at some point it became where you were um, accepting less than you were giving. Yeah, you were putting a lot of work into this. And it's like when you would mention that, hey, like, you know, we, we got to work a little harder or you got to put a little more work in because I'm over here doing a lot. It would always cause a problem. It would always cause an argument. You put a lot of time and effort into this. This could be a work thing for a lot of you. Okay. A lot of people are getting work stuff lately. Or is this three of pentacles in reverse? You have the ace of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Yeah. I feel like don't worry about the fact that someone doesn't want to work with you anyway because if you was to try to offer a hand or try to work with this person it wouldn't work anyway you have the king of pentacles the eight of swords in reverse and the ace of swords sorry about that i usually uh meet my phone um yeah so i feel like um i feel like you're going to be more abundant and more stable without this energy okay and you, you're not going to be you're not going to feel trapped or controlled too you're going to get like an aha moment like you know what I'm happy it didn't work out because now I have all of this to myself. Okay, like that's kind of what I feel. All right, what is this five of wands in reverse? What is this five of wands in reverse? You have the page of wands in reverse with the eight of wands in reverse. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's why there's so much delays because. It's like, uh, I feel like you kept trying to start something new. You kept trying to make it work. You kept trying to fix it. And it's just like, it was delays after delays after delays. Things could have, could have drastically stopped moving. Like, it felt like nothing was happening. Except all this drama, bickering, fighting, challenging. Not seeing eye to eye at all. Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Page of Cups in reverse. 
your intuition told you to keep your guard up but i feel like i feel like because you try to make it work every time you knew that if you wanted to make it work you had to let your guard down so you did but then you realized that that wasn't a good idea okay the two of pentacles yeah it was a lot to you could have been take trying to take care of this energy and something else like a juggling thing I, I feel like there's not enough space for you, Cancer, or you don't have enough space for someone in your life or for something. Okay, take that how that resonates. It's like it's time. That's what I'm getting. Hold on. I'm writing down your... Um, your time that I might use. Oh, yeah, that's going to ring another time because that's my work phone and... My work phone i put it to when i get like a message or anything to put it three times because when i'm at work i'm i'm really busy and sometimes i forget to check the phone and i'm not walking all the way over there so you might hear it one more ding okay all right cancers divine time and past life connection <sighs> This is a relationship that you just got into. You're about to know why it didn't work out because the universe is about to bring you someone that you're going to feel like you knew them all your life. And it's because you guys knew each other in a different life. And I feel like it's, it's the right time for this to happen. Like right now. It doesn't have to be romantic, okay? It could be a friend, a companionship. Look, this came out again. Past life connection. This is definitely... It's going to feel like... You've known this person all your life. Cancer. Oh. Cancer. No more. All right. Bottom of the deck is abundance. With evolution and dedication. And obsession at the bottom. What you don't see coming, Canties, is I feel like you're going to get an abundance of something here that you've been wanting, whether that's money or love, okay? And whatever's going to come in, it's going to really going to, it's going to be so good that you're going to like start evaluating why you have accepted other things before, right? Like why was I accepting less? Like this is what I deserve. Um, and I feel you really dedicated and really putting a lot of energy into whatever this is. Because again, you're going to know this is for you and it's going to be so good. There's the ding. <laughs> and it's going to be so good here. The obsession. Just make sure. It's going to be so good that you might make this your end all be all. So make sure that you're not focusing too much on whatever that is. All right. Balance out. Because this is going to be really good. Whatever this is okay don't overdo it all right you have strength here there's something that you have to be strong for here okay you have communicate you got to speak up about something you have awakening you're realizing something here okay you have spread your wings you got to take a leap of faith here you got to do something here and you have sacrifice you have to give up something in order for you to get what you truly want okay Let's see, Cancies. The Four of Wands came out again. I feel like what's coming for you guys could, could be the person that you're going to be with forever. I do, I do feel that. I also feel like some of you guys could be breaking up with someone or ending a marriage. And once you do that, you're going to walk, walk right into love. That's crazy, right? But the universe, divine timing, remember? The universe works in mysterious ways. All right. Or is the strength card? You have the six of wands here. I feel like a lot of you guys have the strength to do whatever this is that you feel like you can't. You're gonna and it's gonna be successful. It's gonna work out for you here. You just feel like you can't do it because this decision is such an important decision. And many times when we have an important decision to make, we feel like we don't have enough energy or enough resources to actually do this but it's more because our mind is psyching us out and making us over worry or over stress about something you know um i feel like you're, you're you've been nurturing this for a while and, and again I, I just feel like it's not looking it's not looking as good as it was to you before and that's why you have to make an important decision on it because you're you're changing how you feel about something because you're supposed to 
You know, we're not supposed to stay the same forever. We're supposed to evolve. And the things that we once liked, we're not going to like anymore. And I feel like you're realizing that. Someone not, might not be too happy about that realization, but that's their problem. Okay? You have to do what's best for you, always. Cancer. Knight of Swords. Yep. Be determined for your success. Okay? Don't worry about anybody else's. The Hermit in Reverse. And make sure that you're self-reflecting. On the things that you do, that you say, the people you allow in your life. What is communicate? You have the King of Cups. They want you to tell somebody how you truly feel about them. Okay? The Five of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Page of Cups. <laughs> Whatever it is that they want you to say how you feel, you don't feel so. <laughs> Like you feel like this whatever ener this energy is dramatic, is challenging. It brings so many problems. So it's like they want you to tell them how you feel. You can say it in a nice way. And I feel like it's gonna come out very caring and compassionate, like the King of Cups here, okay? Uh you're gonna be you're gonna sound very sturdy, very firm in what you're saying. Your intuition is really telling you this. Like they're like speak up, say how you feel, don't hide it. You can say it really nicely. It's fine. And that is going to catapult you to start making. Because it's like it's like you're going to feel relieved that all of that is going to come out. And you're going to be able to. It's like your mind is going to be clear. And you're going to be able to start um, creating your next moves, your next goals. I don't know. So this communication might be very important. Okay. It might start to set off something. Okay. What's awakening? You have the Hierophant here, okay? A lot of you guys, um, time to reverse the Two of Cups and reverse and the King of Cups. Yeah, it took you a long ways to get here, but now you're finally realizing that the relationship that didn't work out in your life was because you were refusing or something in the relationship. It's like you were refusing to allow change to happen within the relationship dynamic because you cared about it so much that you didn't want it to change. And I feel like, at some point, you learned your lesson here, right? From all the breakups, all the uh, separations that, you, that you've had. The Nine of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like uh, you had your wall up here, okay? Because, you, again, it's like with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, it's, it's like you know that an energy wasn't reliable here, okay? And that's why something had to change, but it's like you refuse to to open the door to change because you care about it so much you don't want it to you don't want it to change. And you've been there for so long. But I feel like now you're really realizing that everything happens for a reason and that there's a higher purpose to everything. And that you don't know everything either. And that's beautiful because the hierophant is also spiritual knowledge. A lot of you guys could be becoming a little more spiritual, which is beautiful. You know, swords in reverse and the eight of cups. Yeah, because a lot of you guys could have left a certain energy and went back to it. Um, and it was just like horrid. It wasn't a very logical decision that you made. I feel like some of you guys just want to be independent. And that's what some of you have to, have, have to tell someone. You have to communicate to someone that you just want to be independent. You want to be by yourself. <clears throat> okay. All right, what is... Um, you have a ton of swords here. You guys could be coming up to a very painful ending, but it's going to be very rewarding, okay? What is spread your ways? You have the six of pentacles in reverse with the empress here, okay? So I feel like... Um, I feel like you need to start putting some energy into yourself and stop giving to others right now, okay? And I feel like some of you guys don't want to do this, but you have the confidence to do that because you don't want to come off as mean or rude, but it's actually going to help you move away from this um, rocky waters that you are in right now or that you feel. And I feel like an opportunity is going to come to you once you choose yourself and you say no, okay? But you have to make a decision to do this. This might have this might cause something else to end, but it needs to because it wasn't working out anyway, or it wasn't going to. What is this sacrifice? What is this sacrifice? You have the King of Cups here, okay? Yeah, you have to sacrifice your love for someone. 
Queen of Pentacles, the Tower in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. Yep. You need to, something that you're nurturing here that you know needs to change that's not, needs to change here. Something needs to go, and it could be about a separation or a breakup here. All right. I feel like you don't want something to end, but it has to. That's the only way you're going to be able to move forward here and get this new opportunity that's waiting for you. Okay. And also, whatever this is, you don't really look at it the same way anymore. So you won't really be losing much. You just have to tell yourself that you have better coming because you do. We always do. All right. All right, can is all that I have. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.